Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and of course this is Mink's Kinks. And yeah, y'all, as y'all read by the title, today we're getting into yet another book haul. And this is very much a TikTok made me buy type of haul because look at all these books that I got here, y'all. Okay, y'all, sorry. Mama Mink called and y'all know she's a talker okay but like i was saying i went ahead and picked up all of these freaking books and i'm so excited y'all know that in the past like year and a half or so i've um, gotten back into reading and i'm just so excited so we're going ahead we're right here in front of my window soaking up all the sun and let's go ahead and talk books but if you're new around here hey my name is mink i do a lot of natural hair lifestyle beauty book content so if you're interested in any of those things definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button join our kinky crew fam and let's go ahead and talk about these books that tiktok made me buy so i have 12 books and what initially started out this book buying purchase was this book this is the first book here this is called you made a fool of death with your beauty and this is by Akweke Amezi. I'm so excited. Y'all, so initially, y'all know TikTok is just a wealth of information. So I heard about this website called Book Outlet. And that is literally where I hold all of these books. So I'm going to put the prices of these books also on the screen. But I know I got this one for like $10. This is a hardback cover. And when I tell y'all, I have been fighting for my life to get this book. So I live right down the streets from um, a Barnes and Noble and this hardback was $27 but on book outlet it was $10 and some change. So in the first this is actually two orders. This is two orders of books um, and this had sold out during my first order but of course I had already wanted the books that were in my cart. <laughs> And then this one came back and start in stock so this is what really set it off so i'm gonna have links to all of these books down below i'm not gonna read the inside flap and everything i'm just gonna kind of tell you guys what i remember from it so from what i remember this book is messy all the book talk has been talking about this book and it's real messy so um it's about the main character and um she went through a very traumatic breakup i want to say somebody dies or i guess the person she was with died it's almost i guess like a she's getting her groove back getting her foot back into dating and it's going super super well and somehow she gets involved with the guy she's dating's father and it gets real real messy i have read um freshwater by this author as well and absolutely loved it um they are literally just an amazing author and i'm really excited to read this okay y'all so the next book i have here so this is called dead dead girls and this is a harlem renaissance mystery and this is actually a series so I have also seen this all over TikTok. A lot of people have talked about this in hauls. It's a pretty, you know, decent size book. It's not short or long, to be honest. Let me see. It's 314 pages. So it's not, you know, a crazy long book. But honestly, I am not a big mystery type of person. I'm not really a thriller book reader type of person at all. I'm more of self-help romance type of situations. But y'all know I can never say no to a good old black girl on a cover and I'm excited to read this and see how it how it stands out so um I actually initially want to say I heard about this on YouTube from Third Eye Angel I like her for her natural hair content but she's been poking posting a lot of bookish content which I absolutely have loved and I saw her haul this um and I just went ahead and edited it to my cart because I I just need to know what this is about so it's based in the Harlem Renaissance. There's a murder. There's actually a series of murders of black women around town, the neighborhood, y'all, I guess. And um, from what I understand, the main character is somehow trying to figure out what's going on with these murders, why, all of those things. So I'm excited to get into this. Um, and I, I love the black girl representation and it's a black female author. So y'all know. We let us see it. All right next book i have is called business not as usual so this was actually in my amazon cart and like i said book outlet just has books like a third of the of the original prices so i just went ahead and picked this up this was only a few dollars it's um like a workplace romance type of situation i love the black representation and i'm coming to learn that i kind of love a workplace romance so i'm really excited to read this um so the main character here i don't remember her name what is it 
dreamy her name is dreamy um she's you know just working trying to build her way up in life and she ends up with this like investor or realtor or something who's like an a-list celebrity kid or something and they end up falling in love so i'm really excited about this like i said y'all know that i am just a love story girl i honestly um before i like dive back into reading i wasn't too much of a love story girl but now i feel like i'm in my like lover girl era because the love stories got me in an absolute chokehold okay so as you guys saw next i have vanessa jared's got a man and it is by La laquette laquette yeah i don't know um and again this is another one per the recommendation of third eye angel so shout out to her um, and I'm actually super, super excited to see how this book goes down. So I'm, this is one that I'm actually going to read over the summer because this just sounds too, too good. So she, our main character here on the cover, she is a post 40 divorced woman and she's, it's giving very much so is getting her groove back. She's, you know, just getting her feet wet into dating and just seeing where things go. And then she gets a knock on the door from the sheriff, who is this guy here, saying that his sister is getting married to her now ex-husband. And it's really like a plot to make sure that that doesn't happen. And in the process, they end up falling in love. And I heard that this book is kind of spicy. And to be honest, I haven't read too, too many spicy books. So y'all know i'm ready to get my feet wet in this let's see what it's about so next i have another hardback cover might i add and this is called on rotation so this is another book that i'm super super excited about this is right where i'm at in life so this main character she is um I want to say she's the daughter of immigrants and it's really just about um, cultural expectations so her parents have high expectations of her to you know go to school for uh you know more traditional job doctor lawyer type of situation marry kids have the whole nine yards and everything and just when it seems like everything is going good everything goes crumbling down her best friend is living her life her boyfriend breaks up with her she fails one of her i'm guessing medical exams and she's really just trying to figure out what's her next steps is this what she wants to do you know how can she take the reins over her life and see what exactly it is that she needs and not necessarily just living the expectations that everybody has of her so i'm super super excited this is another book that i saw down at barnes and noble and i know i paid at least half the price of it so definitely check out book outlet this is a hardcover book i'm excited y'all i'm excited about all the books i got y'all gonna just keep hearing me say i'm excited okay y'all so next up we have grown let me tell y'all something okay i read allegedly by tiffany G d jackson who is the same author of this book and when i tell y'all allegedly had me in a chokehold i still think about that book even though it's been years years i swear i read that maybe high school maybe my freshman year of college like it has been years and that book was so freaking good and once i saw that they had grown i had to pick it up so this book from my memory is about um this main character here her name is enchanted and she meets this um famous r&b singer who claims that he's going to take her under her wing or under his wing and really show her ropes and it turns bad so there are a lot a lot a lot of trigger warnings in this book so definitely read this you know when you're in the right headspace i heard a lot of people on tiktok say this is very reminiscent of um like surviving r kelly and um just some of the things that happened there the um guy who abuses her ends up dead somehow um enchanted doesn't that's the main character enchanted she doesn't remember how this happened so i'm excited i am not sure if this is more along the lines of a mystery or what but i'm so excited like i said i loved allegedly by this author so i'm pressed to go ahead and read this book and see what it's talking about and of course the cover drew me in So the next book I have here is called His Only Wife and honestly I was drawn in by the cover of this book. I mean beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. But I've also heard that this is a very, very good book and I want to say this is a debut novel. I want to say that this is a debut novel as well but from my understanding um, this book is about 
it's about two young people who almost have like sort of an arranged marriage and how they're sort of combining their lives so the young woman in this story she is a seamstress um doesn't have a lot you know she's just barely making it by um her family i don't want to say offers her to marry this man but um the guy he's wealthy he lives in the wealthy part of the city um, but the catch is is that he's involved with another woman that his family doesn't approve of So it's really just a combination of their two lives and how they're going to make it work Together, so I'm excited to read this um, His only wife leads me on that the the I don't want to call her a sad chick because she was there originally But I have a feeling that this book is going to get a little bit messy But I'm very intrigued to see how this goes. I've heard nothing but good things And like I said, the cover art is just stunning so the next book that I have here is called You Truly Assumed. And again, like look at these covers. They're beautiful. So I'm really excited to read this book. I had never heard of this book or this author before. I was scrolling through the um, book outlet website. I was just looking in the section for like black authors, black literature. And this book is about three young Muslim girls. Um... I want to say it was either right before a terrorist attack happened um, that was carried out by Muslim people um, and how Islamophobia really affected them, especially in their city. So um, and how they were just sort of um, bullied and um, made feel small because of these situations that were going on. So I'm really excited to read this. I do think that this is going to be along the lines of a more heavier book, um, but I'm excited to, to read this. Because, like I said, I think it's really important to learn about different cultures and, um, you know, different people's experiences. Because how do we learn if we, you know, get into it? The next book that I have here is called Real Men Knit. And let me tell y'all, I am so excited to read this book, okay? Again, this is written by a black woman author. Get into it. As well as this is a series. So this was one of those things that was in my Amazon wish list. Which if you're curious about what's in my Amazon list, li wish list, it's always in my description box down below so you can see what type of things I'm into reading. But this series has been on my wish list for quite some time and I picked this up from Book Outlet, like I said, for pretty cheap. Um, and I'm really excited. So this is about the story of a couple brothers and um, their mother or adopted mom, something along those lines, she passes away for whatever reason and it's about how they're going to keep their neighborhood family knitting situation alive but there's also like a love plot twist in there so i'm excited to read this and again this isn't too long this is 316 pages so it's not a long book but i'm really excited and if i like it i of course will go ahead and pick up i want to say it's two more books in the series so i'm excited i think this sounds very very cute and i want to say this is a ya read i'm almost positive So the next one that I picked up, I actually picked up two of these. This is called How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House. So I want to say that this book is about a folklore, but there's some sort of larger message in the book. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. This is another one that I saw in um, um, Barnes & Noble, and it just sounded so good. But of course, it was a grip in there. So when I saw it on Book Outlet, I absolutely had to pick it up. Again, these covers are just absolutely beautiful. I want to say that this book had something to do with like the intersection between race and class and how that can lead to um, how those who aren't in those same perception in those same positions see us. So I'm almost positive it has something to do with that. But nonetheless, I have it. So I'm excited to read it. All right. And then the second to last book I have here is called Confessions of an Alleged Good Girl. Y'all all heard about this. So I'm so excited to read this book, but I know that I won't be reading it for a while. Um, this is actually by the same author from Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry. And I had no idea until I looked at my shelf and saw that these are the same author. So I definitely want to go ahead and read Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry first and then get into the second book. But from my understanding, this is the daughter, um, the main character here. She is a daughter of a pastor who is just, you know, very religious and she is dibbling and dabbling in um, experimenting different things with her body. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, y'all know YouTube be flagging. Um, but she finds out for whatever reason she can't have intercourse 
and she wants to know why she reels into friends there's some sort of love plot here i'm really excited about this it sounds very sweet um and innocent and i'm really excited to read it y'all know i love those type of stories especially after i read like some sort of self-help books y'all sometimes the self-helps be reading me for absolute filth and you need a good light-hearted lightweight type of book and i'm really excited to read this because i've heard absolutely nothing but good things all right y'all and last but not least is another book that everybody on tiktok has heard about and this is called radio love So this is another one of those YA, young adult, um, innocent love stories type of thing. So I want to say both of the characters in this book are seniors in high school. Um, the guy, he, his, whoever his caregiver is, is sick. So he has a lot of responsibility on his shoulders, but he's a radio host as well. So the closest he says he gets to a relationship is, you know, giving the right relationships advice on his channel or podcast child radio show y'all know what i mean and then the main girl character we have here i want to say she was a writer or something i'm almost positive it was that she was a writer and she's just focused on getting to school she doesn't have no time for no boys to mess up her plans but of course those plans get messed up and somehow they they fall in love and it's a thing so i'm really excited to read this everybody says that this is an amazing book i'm i'm pressed <laughs> i'm pressed to go ahead and read this again book outlet this is a hardcover book so i'm really excited i personally like a hardcover book no shade to a paperback but there's nothing like a hardback book so yeah you guys those are the 12 books that i went ahead and picked up during this haul y'all i don't need no more books so I will be done buying books here for a while because I have plenty of material to get through as well as child I still haven't read most of the books from my last haul. I shouldn't be asking y'all this but go ahead and leave me some book recommendations down below. Some books that you have read that you just absolutely were obsessed with. I love you guys so so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I know that um, book content isn't a big thing on my channel yet. We're speaking it into existence because y'all know um the tiktok girlies love when i talk about books so i'm going to try and incorporate some of that over here on my channel as well so let me know some things that you'd be interested and in. hear my thoughts about over here on youtube but yeah you guys i love you so so much thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye